Hey guys, how you doing? Dave here. Today we're making up these delicious golden brown apple pie turnovers made with a combination of puff pastry, cinnamon, and apples. You're going to love them, so let me walk you through this and let's get started. So I'm going to kick things off here by peeling up my apples. And I'm just using red apples, but you know, you can use Granny Smith, Golden Delicious, Honeycrisp, whatever you like. So I've just removed the cores here, and I'm just going to kind of cube this up. By the way, how do you make an apple turnover? Push it down a hill. <laughs> okay, let's cook the filling. I'm going to do this by adding a couple of tablespoons of butter to a preheated pan and just kind of let this melt down. Then add in the apples, half a cup of brown sugar, a teaspoon of cinnamon, one of my favorite spices, a tablespoon of water, and we're going to let this cook out for, oh, I'd say about five minutes. You can also use apple pie filling if you don't want to make this from scratch. After about five minutes, the apples are really tender, so I'm going to add in a tablespoon of cornstarch, and this is just going to thicken things up for us. And once it's thickened, we're going to just kill the heat. And look at that, that rich, delicious goodness. Now I'm going to put this in the fridge and let it cool down completely because you don't want this to melt our pastry. I should mention too that you can also make this ahead of time and just leave it in the fridge for a while. You can even leave it overnight. So what I have here is some puff pastry and I've thawed this overnight in the fridge. You can find this in just about any grocery store. You can make it from scratch or you can even use our corned beef empanada recipe. So what I'm going to do now is flour my work surface. Place my puff pastry on, a little bit more flour over the top, and this just kind of firms it up and keeps it from melting down. Slice it evenly into four sections. What I've made up here is an egg wash, and it's just an egg with a bit of water in it. So I'm just going to take my brush, brush the outside edges with my egg wash, that's the outside perimeter. Put a heaping tablespoon of our super yummy delicious mixture into the middle. Maybe a little bit more. And fold one edge over the other until you kind of get a triangle here. Press down the edges with your hand. You've got to kind of work fairly quickly here because you don't want this dough melting down. And I'm going to get some flour on my fork here and then just kind of press it down so it looks uniformed and real pretty. Now it's nicely sealed. Place it on a baking pan lined with parchment paper or a baking mat. Take a good sharp knife and I'm going to make about three slits in these guys. And what this is going to do is it's going to release the air so they don't puff up too much. Brush it with some egg wash just on the top and this is going to make them a golden brown and make them beautiful and a little bit more granulated sugar over the top just to give it some sweetness and crunchiness so we're going to slip this into a 400 degree Fahrenheit 200 degree Celsius oven for about 25 minutes after 25 minutes, they're beautifully done. And just look at this. Don't they look gorgeous, golden brown? Our, there you have it, our apple pie turnovers. So let's give this a taste test. Mmm. Oh my goodness, guys. 
This is simply delicious. The cinnamon, the apples, the pastry. Mmm. This is like an extraordinary apple pie. You gotta try this. For the full scoop on this recipe, head on over to cookandshare.com. All kinds of cool dessert recipes and everything you can think of over there. Thanks for subscribing. Give us a thumbs up and see you next time.